OK, now let's head over to the Mastercraft Kitchen where our Master Chef Tim Reed's filling in for Mark Salvin for a couple more days. Who? Hey. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Who? No, Salvin. No, we look forward to you coming back. But you've been doing a fantastic job, Tim. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. What have you got today for us? Uh, today we've got roasted chicken uh, covered in a balsamic sauce and then with a little bit of a tomato salad on top. I think one of these days you're going to play a song that I actually know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tim! Yeah, maybe oh. before I go. Maybe you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. We can't wait for Mark to get back now, can we? <laughs> All right, something I'm going to show you right now is how to uh, butterfly a chicken. Now, butterflying a chicken uh, basically means we're taking out the backbone, and by doing that, we're allowed to spread out that chicken, and by roasting it, we're going to cook it evenly, and you won't hopefully get the dry breast and the undercooked leg and stuff like that. That sometimes can happen with the roast. So basically, you start at the bum end or the pastor's nose, but you just get some scissors and you're going to cut right up the backbone there. Oh, oh listen to that. Can you Crunchy. Hear, yeah, can you hear the crunches? <laughs> Could you use your old garden secretary? Yeah, <laughs> probably. You want to give them a bit of a trim first. But, right. uh, yeah, and just watch your fingers. All right. So you've gone up one side. I can go ambidextrous, but just be careful going with your odd hand. And you're just going to cut up the other side. Don't throw this backbone away. It's awesome for making soups or stocks or anything like that. The next time you want to make a soup, just whack this in the pot with it, take it out at the end, and you'll have a lovely chicken flavour. All right, so we've gone through there. Just get that stringy last bit of skin. All right, mm. and then all we're going to do, get a wee knife and cut down. There's the little wishbone in there, which we fight about as kids, and then you open it up. There's some cartilage in there and you can pull that out if you want to, it's not necessary. Um, but that's just the breastbone. And then we whack that on the, on the tray. And I have some balsamic. Yum. Some oil. Yep. Yeah. Some mustard. Where's a spoon? Oh, that's a fork. <laughs> Another fork. <laughs> so, so Don't know, the kitchen lady's playing tricks on me. <laughs> All right, a bit of mustard in there and a couple of garlic cloves. Give it a good mix. Because you don't need to crush the garlic? Nah, she'll be right, because we're roasting it all. So uh, we're going to whack this in the oven for about an hour on 190. Pour it over the top. And, uh, and I'll pop this in. Come back to me and I'll show you how to make the salad. I've been working hard on making sure that my cooking technique is good. Yeah, um, I want to master this. I'm going to leave with the win, and then I'm going to win the arm wrestling. Yeah, so well, should okay. we get into it? Sounds good. Um, just before we go any further, though, is your chicken all right? It's a bit smoky in here. <laughs> uh, I think we need to talk to our kitchen assistant. Right. Yeah, apparently okay. there was an issue with some bickies a few weeks back. <laughs> okay, well, just turn the chicken down, Donna. <laughs> okay, sweet. So the chicken's on. It's under control. Don't worry. Uh, what are we going to do now? So we're just going to make a wee tomato salad. So the idea is we get our butter, beautiful butterfly chicken yep. on a nice big platter and then we're going to top it with a tomato salad. We all know how well tomato and balsamic goes together. Mm. Then we've got some fresh herbs. So basically uh, I've got a punnet of cherry tomatoes here. Right. And uh, and you're just going to halve them and pop them in here. Okay. Well, all right. pretty easy. Yeah. You want me to do that? Yeah, I, well, do I that. think you can do that. Um, the old cherry tomatoes, because tomatoes I've noticed are a bit expensive at the moment. Yeah, they are. Uh, cherry tomatoes seem to be... Sorry, I'll get that out of the way so people can see what you're doing. Um, <laughs> yeah, watch. <laughs> watch the front work. <laughs> yeah, just in case we need to call an ambulance. I'm trying oh. to have my eyes on you. Um, yeah, cherry tomatoes seem to be a similar price close to year round, but right. uh, yeah, yeah. Obviously summer is, is better for tomatoes. And why are you using cherry? They're a little bit sweeter, aren't they? Yeah, a little bit sweeter, a bit smaller. Uh, yeah, and easier to toss on top of a whole chicken. Oh, nice. Yeah. And when you're cooking a butterfly chicken, how long is it? Obviously, it's a bit faster than your normal chicken, isn't it? Yeah, so. yeah, it is. Uh, so it can range uh, anywhere from about 35 minutes to... You can do it nice and slow cook for an hour. Nice. Um, yeah, this one's taking about 35 minutes. OK, now, look, you are getting some mint off there. Yes. Can I ask you a question about that? Because I often buy the um, herbs at the supermarket, those yes. little punnets. What's the best way to keep them at home? Because sometimes I overwater them and they go rank, what do yeah. you do? Yeah, so you definitely want something uh, with a bit of sunlight. Yeah. Um, if you can, try and get ones that are soil raised rather than hydroponically grown. Okay. Um, hydroponic herbs are grown in water and then transplanted into the soil before you, you kind of get them. So most packaging will have whether they're hydroponic or soil raised. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice, thank you. Good tip. 
full of tips here at the Mastercraft <laughs> kitchen. I guess what else are we using? Is well, it coriander? Uh, this is parsley. Some oh. fat yeah, you're getting there. That's all right. It looks the same. Yeah, it does. It? Well, I'm going to get you cutting this mint. Okay, so basically, cool. you want to kind of get into a rocking motion. Show me. Yeah, so show you me. can just get into a okay, rocky motion, cool. whack it up. How fine do we want it? Uh, just roughly chopped. Okay. <laughs> well, if you want rough, you've got <laughs> rough here. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need to be too fancy about that. Okay, cool. All right. And then once you've done there, and I'm not scared you're going to cut my hand, I'll put some parsley down there for you to okay, do that. I'm going to do the same with that. Oh, yep. I love the smell of mint. Yeah. Reminds so me of mojitos. <laughs> Okay, so. All right, so you're done there. We'll yeah, whack some do. parsley on top of that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep chop, going. Keep chopping. Yep. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. And is this all we're going to really add to this tomato salad? Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's good. All right, so a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and uh, and I'm going to cut up an onion once you're done there. You're pretty close. Okay, cool. One more pass through. One more pass through. There yep. you go. That'll do. Okay, nice. So scoop that up with your hands, pop mm -hmm. it in there. Okay. I'll quickly cut a red onion. All right. I've come a long way with you, Tim. Yeah, you have. Yep. Mark will be impressed. He will when be he comes impressed. Back. Here we go. Look at you, Mike. Go. All right. How to chop tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is smelling good, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, nice and fresh for a, uh, yeah. for a pretty hearty roast chicken. Nice work. Okay. Well, we'll finish this up here in the Mastercraft kitchen. We'll come back very soon. We'll see the finished product. Uh, so we've roasted that uh, mm. uncovered Yum. for about 45 minutes. Oh, look at that. 40 minutes, yeah. Looks Ooh. beautiful and golden. And we've got our beautiful salad here that might help me make. Yeah. Cut the tomatoes. With Thank precision. you. <laughs> Cut the tomatoes and the herbs. All part of it. Yeah. Oh. And again, we're going rustic, family table vibes. It's and, good though, uh, I like that look. Yeah, thank Rusty you. Is great. And then everyone can help themselves at the table. Nice presentation. Got some tongs. <gasps> Hang on, she just said nice presentation. Yeah, well, yes. Rustic is good, you can't go wrong with rustic, just chuck it all in the one I bowl. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, that looks great. So, what's on the menu for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, Mel, we're doing creamy mushrooms on toast. Ooh, yum. good with the food. Yeah.